Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for, this is your vlog romance for March 2020 and I'm using the Angel Romance deck and um, I'm using the um, House of Shadows Lenormand or Oracle deck. Um, it is based on Lenormand um, but uh, I'll just let me shake the cards and get this out. There's also a little bit of a long introduction because there's news. There are new developments here and they're awesome. Okay, so let's have a look what you have. Okay, four weeks and the bottom of the cut deck. And then we're going on to the Lenormand. And I've been pretty busy, that's why it has been late. Um, because there's new things happening. I'm also working with uh, a, a witch, a real life witch, and having discussions and we'll do, we're doing a uh, vlogs on the uh, in, uh, witch's oracle deck and there will be even more discussions in on what is the difference between homeopathy or a homeopathist, uh, a herbalist and a witch, things like that. I've had positive reactions so far, so if you enjoy that kind of thing, then why don't you uh, follow the vlogs? And as soon as I've got it all sorted out, technical the technical side, then we'll be going live together as well. Um, the tomorrow I will be starting next week's videos, and um, I also have to update my website. Um, because that is up and running and you can, uh, if you click on this white circle here with the eye in it, then it, you, it you will be redirected to the website. And of course, welcome back to my Cyber Angels and welcome to new viewers. So that's some of the new things that are, that are happening. And new viewers, please subscribe and hit the bell. Then you'll get notified. If you don't want to get notified, then don't hit the bell. Um, also, what has changed is because I'm getting uh, busier and uh, because uh, the cyber family is growing really extensively, uh, I've chosen to uh, do the live on Monday and Friday night in English. And for the Dutch people, it is uh, Wednesday night. So, if you are Dutch, you are more than welcome uh, to join in in the English evening, so long you speak English. Okay, I really would like to get the chat going and keep on rolling uh, because it is uh, very energetic and uh, uh, energy eating uh, if I have to jump backwards and forwards. So that's why I've also chosen for that. I don't want to leave anybody out. And if, if you go to the website and you look under um, uh, services, then you can find out uh, what the different readings I do. There's a, an offer for, a nice offer actually, for a romance or a general reading, and that, um, an extended version, of course, a big version, and you can always come back for a cheaper price Sorry about that, Scorpio. I'll cut that out. I was saying if you have an extended version for a general or a romance reading, then the, there is an option to come back within six months of that reading and have an update. Uh, go and have a look at the update and news uh, video that will be linked into the uh, end screen so click on that and you'll get more information i don't want to make the introduction too long as i have to do it in dutch as well so skip the dutch introduction and i'll see you in the reading thank you and i hope to see you of course in the live or in the next video and please share and like the video with family and friends and give us the thumbs up Hallo Scorpion, dit is jullie vlog, romans vlog voor uh, maart en uh, even een vlugge update voor jullie, want er gebeuren hele nieuwe dingen. 
week, zoals je al gemerkt hebt, ga ik niet meer elke avond live. Um, want ik krijg het druk met interviews en reviews. En dat kan je allemaal terugzien. Reviews is herziening of introduceren van Dex, bijvoorbeeld de... Huis van Schaduw, het Huis van Schaduw, dat is de Lennerman en dan de Romans Orakel uh, kaarten. Daar heb ik ook een review van en van de Engelen Veren en Aartsengel Michiel. Zo, so, als je uh, meer wilt weten over de kaarten en natuurlijk ook van Mag Matatron en van de uh, Enchanted Dream Tarot, en daar is ook een hele mooie... Uh, introductie van. Dat zal je ook wel, daar zal ik ook een link van uh, plaatsen aan de eindscherm. Als je daar op klikt, dan krijg je een speelafspeellijst en dan kan je klikken op elke uh, uh, introductie van de kaarten die je wilt zien. Oké, okay. uh, de website is ook up and running. Uh, daar moet ik ook tijd aan spenderen. En sorry dat ik laat ben met de romanslezingen. En jullie kunnen altijd de ondertiteling aanzetten. Ik lees het Engels, want dat is makkelijker vertaalbaar. Want het is een internationale taal. En ik lees voor duizenden verschillende mensen. Die uh, ook Engels sprekend zijn. Maar dan kunnen ze het uh, vertalen in hun eigen taal. Uh, wat ook nieuw is, is dat ik op woensdagavond live ga voor Nederlands. En als je Engels kan spreken, dan kan je meedoen op maandag en vrijdag voor de Engelse talige live sessie. Wil je een specifieke vraag beantwoord hebben, dan do uh, doe ik dat na een donatie. En de donatie heet ook... Uh, super chat of super stickers. Klik op de dollar teken en volg de instructies. Zo kan je ook de lijn springen. Dan kan je vooruit springen. Dan hoef je niet op je beurt te wachten. En dan geef ik je ook drie kaarten als je geen vraag hebt met een or orakelkaart. Um, heb, wil je meer informatie hebben? Dan kan je hier op de I klikken, dat witte cirkeltje met de i, dan word je doorgeschoven of doorverbonden naar de website en daar kan je allerlei informatie terugvinden over verschillende lezingen. Er is een, een leuke aanbieding als je een grote lezing neemt, romantiek of over romans of algemeen, dan, kan je al, dan heb je ook een keuze om terug te komen binnen de zes maanden voor een update. Uh, te kijken hoe dingen nu zijn of dan zijn. Over een paar maanden of over vier weken of over zes weken is altijd te adviseren om even een tijdje te wachten. Oké, okay, um, dat is uh, informatie. En dan ook die video. Kijk even naar die video voor uh, nieuwe informatie. Jullie weten waarschijnlijk ook dat ik een vlog doe met een Nederlandse heks. En dat gaan we wekelijks doen, want er is heel veel reactie op komen. Zo heel veel mensen vinden dat ook interessant. En dit is ook naar aanleiding van de dek, de uh, heksen orakel. En ook omdat ik uh, meer wil gaan doen met live coachen. En zo daar met uh, om, ik ga door mensen coachen met, die omgaan met verlies bijvoorbeeld. Of met mensen, uh, verlies kan, niet, hoeft niet alleen maar uh, te zijn als iemand overlijdt, maar het kan ook zijn dat je je baan verliest, je huis verliest, uh, noem maar op, Alle een, 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 dier, uh, een dier verliezen. Misschien gaat een kind uit huis en dat voelt ook als verlies. Hoe ga je daarmee om? En dat, daar wil ik ook een cursus voor maken en zulke soort dingen worden ook besproken uh, met de heks Wendy. Oké. Okay. Zo, so, uh, alsjeblieft, deel deze video met vrienden en familie en geef ons de duimpjes op. Mm, dat apprecieer ik heel erg. Zo, so, laten we beginnen. Het wordt een Engelse video, zo so zet je ondertiteling aan als je geen Engels kan. Ik hoop je terug te zien in de live sessies en anders in uh, de volgende video. En geef even de duimpjes op. Dankjewel. Oké, okay, let's get started. First of all, Scorpio, you have new love coming in. 
Even if you're hooked up, then there might be somebody that's interested in you. A new person has stirred your fee romantic feelings. Wow, perhaps you might be the one that is getting flustered because you like somebody. Well, if you are hooked up, make sure that you make the right choice. Don't throw a pair of old shoes away. If they, if they fit, think about it twice. I don't like to say to anybody, well, new love is coming in. That could also be with your present uh, partner because you might be going up at the next level because your feelings have been stirred from passion to real love. So that could be also the new love coming in, going up to the next level. But are they ready? So make sure that you let them know that you are not only in love with them, but that you love them and you would like to be serious. Then we've got number 11 and that's an angel number. So the angels are giving you a doorway to step through a new beginning. And we've got brooms and brooms. Even the cat's got a broom. So if you are in a relationship that you don't want to be in, yes, then the brooms is spring cleaning. Let go of the past. Okay, let go of the past. Don't compare the past with the present. Make sure that you are sure of what you want and what you want to do. But have a spring clean by the, perhaps you might be spring cleaning and making room in the cupboard for this new love. He might be saying, yeah, okay. Or she might be saying, yeah, okay, let's get together. I'll move in with you. So you'll have to spring clean the house and you'll have to make room. Awesome. That's the positive side of this card. You might not be ready for love. That could be the other side of it. You have to let go of old before you can start anew. See what your your interpretation is, Scorpio. Uh, like I said, somebody might uh, have stirred up your romantic feelings. Well, of course, it is sad if you do lose a, a friendship or a relationship. But remember, uh, the gr yeah, I could go on and on on this subject, but sometimes a fresh start is better than carrying on in a relationship that you don't feel comfortable in anymore. Perhaps there was unrequented love. Unrequented love means that somebody was drawn, their attention was drawn away and it wasn't with you anymore. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I'm sorry, Scorpio. Um, I did pull the cards and they came out the way they did. Okay. Now, we've got the man here and that's 28. And 28 is 2 and 8 and that's a 10. There is an ending. For, so you're going from a 10 to an 11, a new beginning. That's the doorway. And a 10 is also saying a new beginning. If you are watching and you're a man, then you might actually meet a woman that is career orientated. She's business-like, she's steadfast, but she, she's steadfast, she's like a man. She's got a strong willpower, so be ready. But she might be career orientated, so she will go there and she will, um, she is career orientated and she, that will, be very important to her. She might be very independent, very businesslike, and she has her own life, so do you. But she will be a sort of businesslike, like, yes, I understand. I've got my career, I've got my responsibilities, and I do have you to consider. So if you start a new relationship, uh, make sure that it's built on proper foundations and that it's clear to you and to them what you want and find out what they want. 
where do they stand, okay? Now, if you're a lady, you could be meeting a new man, okay? Perhaps you are in a relationship and you don't love this person anymore because it doesn't excite you anymore, okay? And perhaps with a woman, they are thinking more of their career than of you. Perhaps that could be the situation as well. Because perhaps they are focused too much on your career and that's why there is no connection anymore because they can, their, their attention is drawn away. Now there's messages flying all over the place so it might seem that I'm jumping from one subject to another subject. So it will come together, don't worry. But don't be focused on your loss, be focused on what you have. And if it's not to your liking, then use the broom. In the third week, we've got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, first of all, you've got in the beginning of the month, a new love coming in. So, you have got romantic feelings, okay? So, go ahead and explore. Be careful though, because you could be up against somebody that is sly and slithery, like a fox, but they can be also very analytical. Yes, 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 I will do this, I will do that, if I do this, then um, you, they will react this way. So there could be somebody that is already calculating, counting their egg, eggs before they are ha hatched. Wow. Business-like. You have to, um, how do you say that? Have apprehension in business. Um, you have to calculate whether it's going to be a successful, um, let's say, a, a successful business, a successful partnership or something to invest. When, you, uh, business, when you're doing, if you're business-like, you always see Will it work? Will it not work? You are calculating beforehand. That is the fox. Okay? So be careful. There could be somebody very sneaky around you. It's 14, so 5 is not being in balance. It could be also that you might be meeting or feeling have romantic feelings for somebody at work. Then we have, in the fourth week, we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So if this new love comes your way, it's worthwhile discovering your feelings, but learn from the past. Don't be too analytical. Be also um, let your inner child come out. Don't be calculating all the time. If I do this, I will get that. Or I hope to get that reaction. Don't expect too much. Let it develop naturally. And if somebody does come back um, because you've chatted with them and let's say, why, why is your direction or your attention directed to something or someone else? What is the matter in our relationship? Why am I not being loved like I used to? Talk about it. And if you can't talk about it, get an arbitrator. An arbitrator means get somebody to be um, the referee, to help you to. That it's somebody that's not emotionally connected to you. So get an arbitrator. And they will give, if you ask them, then also expect an analytical um, situation. Let them also uh, air their point of view. But then both of you should be open to an arbitrator. Now, so forgive and learn. Okay. 
Now we've got the house here, and the house means protection usually in uh, the Lenaman, and that you are isolating yourself. Perhaps you are isolating, and that's why they are, have not got their attention focused on you anymore. Perhaps you're isolating yourself away. Um, perhaps that happened in the past. But with this card, I see chaos. Perhaps your life is chaos or their life is chaos. And that's why the attention is not focused on you anymore. That could be an old relationship, okay? Or it could be the present relationship or this new relationship. So if somebody's chaotic and isolating themselves, but they have um, opened up to you, then make sure that they do go out there and that they do mingle with people and that they're not isolating themselves. Let them come out of their comfort zones. They have to come out of their comfort zones and so do you in order to forgive and learn as you can release and heal from the past. As you release and heal the past. To carry on this present relationship, to let the love come back, you have to drop the past and forgive and heal. Then you will uh, experience more love at present. You can't carry dead horses or drag dead horses with you. You cannot, um, like they say in Holland, don't drag old cows out of the canal. If you want a new beginning and you want this um, relationship to work, then express your feelings. It's worth exploring your feelings. And other, it could be with a new love, but it could also be with a present love. You just need um, the uh, to keep the communication going. But if the other one doesn't, the other person does not want to keep the communication going, then unfortunately there has to be a stop. Then close off the old and clean up. Use the broom. The broom also stands for arguments and disagreements. You have to stop that with that, like I said, that's the past. You have to learn and forgive. Like I said, you must get out of your comfort zone or they have to come out of your comfort zone. I'm reading for you, but this is to do with two people. If one person doesn't talk or doesn't want to talk, you cannot force anybody. A partnership is a partnership and then there should be respect and love toward each other and yeah that is respect means that you can't force anybody but you have the ring at the bottom of the deck and I did not sort out the cards so that means partnerships in business or in love and since this is a romance reading there will be a new partnership you've got new love coming in if the old one doesn't cooperate and want to learn and forgive you have to be open towards each other and learn to communicate and the overall energy and i think this is more or less for you both you deserve love you are lovable but you have to know each other's boundaries and stop bouncing back issues. That is what you have to learn from the past. You, it's like the tower. I've had a couple of readings, the tower in there and the tower in Lenamon means it's okay to be ambitious. It's okay to work hard, but you mustn't forget the people around you. You can get to the top because actually the people around you, friends and family support you, okay? And that is what um, this is. Don't focus on one thing because you will lose another thing. And that is exactly what I see with this card, Unrequented Love. Somebody's been focused on one thing 
and perhaps on a third person or a new love because it's lying next to the card of new love perhaps on their self-love this could be an issue with them as well that yeah that they don't feel that they deserve your love and they don't love themselves enough and perhaps that's what they've been focusing on about okay not only their career but they want steadfastness perhaps well i'm getting I'm getting career. They've been focusing on their work or their career and they forget themselves even. They have passed, bypassed themselves, not only you. And I feel that their head with this card, I've got it in two other readings, it feels that the head is all over the place. They don't feel protected, they don't feel safe, they, they, they totally feel all over the place. So that's why they are isolating themselves. They should get out of their comfort zone, get out of the house, make friends and mingle. Because that, in, if this was a general reading, then that would be the issue with business. You have to network, you have to go out there to get clients. Okay, now we've got um, an any, uh, action card from Archangel Michael and we've got leadership show the way Archangel Michael calls upon you to take on a leadership role your love and light will show others the way forward that is magic sorry about the glistening but it became so dark that I had to switch on the light there you go. Okay. You will show others the way forward. Your love, your patience will lighten up your path and will show others how to act. You've got burnt orange angel feather, so you can wear burnt orange, you can eat orange, you can meditate on burnt orange. An open door. The angels ask you to be very observant as you are to be presented with an exciting opportunity. So there you are. The angels are giving you a doorway. Number 11. An exciting opportunity. It could be a new love or it could be that you work together and you've you've got out of your isolation or they have and you uh, that your romantic feelings are worth exploring perhaps you might have learned how to explore your romantic feelings and open up and get out of your comfort zone forgive and learn definitely leave the past the past don't drag any old cows out of the canal as they say in Holland, you deserve love. But remember, it takes two to tango, two to make a union. Okay, that is your reading, Scorpio. I hope you liked it. I hope to see you in the life, if not in the next video. Take care, be blessed, and enjoy March. Ciao, ciao. Please share and like and give us the thumbs up.